snapdragons. Those are the snapdragons that you saw. So Check Wonderful. this out. Like them. They're beautiful. Whoa! Not good. No bueno. Hi, flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And I came down here today, down into the 14 rows that I've planted cut flowers in to film a tour and to give you guys an update on what things look like. And the zinnias, from a distance, they look pretty great. But I've been monitoring a situation here with the zinnias and I think it's time to take action. So about a week ago, I noticed some spots on some of the lower leaves and uh, it was concerning to me and we have gotten an unprecedented amount of rain in the past couple of weeks. And I sent a picture to Sunflower Steve and I said, does this look like zinnia blight to you? And at first he wasn't concerned. He said, that looks like insect damage. I said, okay, I can handle that. So I've been spraying with my Captain Jack's dead bug spray. And uh, I noticed it started to spread a little bit. So I was like, wait a second, all right. Maybe it's more than just insect damage. And uh, now I'm noticing this morning as I come down here, yesterday I noticed it about a third of the way down the bed, the lower leaves with the spots and today it's more than halfway down the bed. I think I have a bacterial problem with my zinnias and it's directly related to the amount of rainfall that we've had. I even consulted with my personal meteorologist, Jill Real from the local television station. Hi Nicole, it's your trusty meteorologist friend here. It's been quite the month already across central New York and we're only 15 days in and even parts of June were uh, quite hectic with severe weather and of course rain. And rainfall has been the big issue over the last couple of weeks. Officially, we're just about four inches of rain for the month, which is well above average for this month. But most locations around this area have received between five and seven inches of rain within the last two weeks. So again, at this point in time, the ground is very saturated across the region. I don't know about you, Nicole. I usually have a brown thumb, but my garden is flourishing with all this rain and humidity. I've never seen my hydrangeas, my lilies, everything's looking gorgeous. But again, hopefully we're gonna get some sunshine, uh, at least for today, with more rain in the forecast, unfortunately, for the weekend. Take care. So like Jill's saying, we have just gotten so much rain. These things are bound to happen and there are some things you can do to fight this. Now the best way to tackle a fungus situation or a bacterial situation is to treat the plants before you see the issue because I don't think that I can uh, reverse this. I might be able to slow it down and perhaps stop the spread, but I am not going to eliminate the bacteria infection and I'm actually a little bit nervous that I'm gonna have to pull these plants. Um, which would be absolutely horrible. <laughs> okay, I can handle this, all right. So what I'm gonna do today is spray them with a fungicide. Now a fungicide, fungicide, however you like to say those G's. Fungicide. There are a couple of options. There's the purely organic way to go, which is neem oil, which acts as both a bug spray and a fungicide. And then there are the other options such as copper fungicide. And now that's what Sunflower Steve uses. That's what he's recommended. And I, I think I might go with that. And I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I do, I, I have a feeling it's something called Altenaria leaf spot or black spot, splot, splot, black spot. I am going to bring a sample down to my local extension office so they can tell me exactly what I'm dealing with. So in addition to spraying, there is something that you can do to help prevent the spread and that is take off all of the leaves that have this damage. And that's what I've been doing for the past hour this morning. There are so many leaves I can't even get over it. I've already washed my hands like three times, um, which I've got clean hands right now because I just went upstairs and got, got the camera to bring you guys with me. So upstairs, I mean up the giant hill, it takes me five minutes to walk up to get back to the house. Here is a bag of leaves I've already stripped. Let's take a closer look at what this damage looks like. <laughs> I do want to tell you guys too, sorry about the backlighting. <laughs> it's early in the morning. Um, do not compost these. Anything with a bacterial infection like this, 
uh, go straight in the garbage. I'm not composting this and uh, probably some people will burn it, um, but I'm just putting it straight into the garbage. So uh, bag one, there's gonna be bag two, I think. So I'll, I'll let you guys know uh, what the uh, extension office says. I, I really have a strong feeling that it's that uh, leaf spot. So, uh, it's, you never win, you never win, you never win. Anyway, I'm still gonna film a little tour down here today and post that later this weekend. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a, a day full of pulling leaves. So I'm gonna get back to work here pulling off leaves and I'm definitely gonna be giving these guys a spray. I'm gonna go ahead with the copper. Just was listening to when I was doing some research. Um, <laughs> ate a bug. When I was doing some research about Alternaria Leaf Spot, I came across Kevin's podcast from Epic Gardening. I just gave that a listen. It was just a couple minutes long. I'll put it in the link or in the description below. Um, super helpful and, and exactly what I thought. Remove uh, and then the treatment. So I'm gonna keep monitoring this situation, make sure it doesn't get worse. There is a chance that I will have to pull these plants, but it doesn't impact the bloom. It might eventually, but right now it's the, the fungus and bacteria itself is not into the stem, it's only on the leaves. The zinnias themselves look gorgeous. I'm not worried about the actual flowers at this point. So I'm gonna treat it and I am gonna start more zinnia today because I do have a half empty row right over there. This can impact a lot of other ornamentals and vegetables too, fruit trees, stuff like that. So uh, I'll be definitely keeping an eye on my tomatoes which are about uh, 60 feet that way because they will um, have this issue too. So, and it's airborne, like it, it goes, it, it just spreads. So uh, I'll definitely be breaking out the copper and uh, Give it, oh, also, um, Kevin on Epic Gardening did mention maybe doing a crop rotation because this bacteria may stay in the soil. So, um, yay! <laughs> of course it does. It's okay. We'll figure it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you soon. Fungicide. <laughs> you watching? I'm watching you. Security rats. I'm not going to be able to get up in the corner here. And now a magic trick from my childhood with Grandpa Gabe. Take a penny. I don't know if this is going to come good because I'm not that good at it anymore. Take the penny. I'm going to grab the penny and let it, it's going to disappear. And you rub it into your elbow like that. And it's gone. Now, if you want to get it back, you have to rub your elbow again. Where the hell did it go? <laughs> See what I mean? It doesn't always work. What the heck did I do with it? It came down. It came down. It just slid down. There it goes. <laughs> so that's my trick. <laughs> Bravo! The better, the better one would be as long as you guys are, are recording. You can take a penny like this. And you, you can make the penny disappear and change into something else. So I'm going to try waving it three times like this over the hand and just throw it in there like that. Watch it change into a half an hour. What the? <laughs> you can see that penny. See the penny still. Mom's there painting. Is. How's it going, Mom? <laughs> Which ones? These. These are beautiful. Those that is flocks. blushing bride flocks. Beautiful. Oh my God! What are these? Snapdragons. Those are the snapdragons. That you... They're so beautiful. Check no this out. You like them? They're beautiful. Bells of Ireland. Oh my God! I never seen it. Aren't I hate cool? to sound like a jerk, but I never seen anything like this. They look like horns. I know. <laughs> That's cool? why they're called they're bells, bells of Ireland. Of Ireland. Well, I wasn't too far from it then. <laughs> this is beautiful. Isn't that cool? Yeah, let me see if I can hear anything. <laughs> Ding uh, dong. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful. Could you actually say that something didn't look good in there? Um, in this pile of flowers? Nothing. Let me look. I can't say anything. No, looks everything bad. looks great. I'm using the copper fungicide, and it's actually blue, but I'm just spraying all of the green. Hopefully it works. Fungicide. 